Are we on? Yeah, this is it. This is the stream. Got Sorry, it. We were two minutes late. Uh, oh, these people are here already. Uh, race piling in. Let me do a quick Ooh. tweet. It's time for another Max. Well, I'll do a hashtag. Max Fun Drive. I've been doing the Max Fun Drive 2019. No, no, no. Why? No, I know he's doing it. I just don't Am I think the only that's part. I think you're the only one doing it. Well, Some people are doing it. Then just I'm like, doing it. That's fine. Time for the Max Fun Drive stream with Justin. Maybe I'm right. And Sydney. Donate here. I did a text expander to do the link easier. Oh. Pull this out. I don't know what that means. Wait, hold on. Um, probably it's the wrong link. Let me delete it and try everything again. How's the stream going so far? Seem pretty good, it doesn't seem. Well, you're doing all this stuff. Well, so I know, but what's the point of doing it if people aren't going to be watching it and loving it? Ba da ba ba ba. Sorry, we're disorganized. Our daughter, I'm loving it. Her daughter is puking. Well, she's not now. She's not now, but she was. And she's okay. Just a stomach bug. Right on. Okay, let's crank it. That is so stressful. Yeah. Mom's telling me all the all the people who have eaten after her. After Charlie? Yes, I texted her and said, Charlie's sick. And she said, oh, you know her and Cooper shared food yesterday. And also her and Riley did. Yeah. And we did today. And Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah everyone's going to get sick. She's, have you eaten after her? She's yep, four. Mom, sure, yes. sure I have. Yes, I have. I'm sure I have. We're all screwed. But hey, st stream, that has Charlie's nothing. Charlie's sick. That has nothing Not to do. Cooper. Yeah. Sydney let them kiss on the mouth. So No, I didn't. She was. No, you did. You did. No. Charlie was laying there all pitiful with a rag on her head, and Cooper was trying to cuddle her, and then they mooched, and I shouldn't have let him, but I couldn't stop it before it happened. Um, I feel bad about it. Uh, okay. So, so we'll all be puking in a couple days. <laughs> it's life. Uh, so here's the chat rules. Hello. Yes, the chat is live. Hello. Here's the chat rules. Don't type the same thing over and over again, and don't type a bunch of garbage. Because I why what? are you so mean? They're, I'm just moderating. Just type, what, type whatever you want as long as it's not like. Okay, this person said incest is wincest. Is that like a cool? You think I don't need to? to no, okay. I think that they're joking because you said that about the girls. Oh, that's fine. Okay, kissing. that's fine. Yeah, See, you're right. Like you're so mean. Don't type any garbage. And I'm. I'm and they gonna, type the same things over and over again so that we see their questions because it goes so fast we miss them. Um, I get it. There, uh, a lot of people are typing trans rights over and over again. I think it's a ploy to get me to say trans rights, which I, you know, how adamantly opposed I am to that. You got me again. Why? Of course. Yeah. Yes. He's, he's trans people he's should not. have the same rights as every other human being on the face of this earth. Duh. Duh, it's obs. You can stop texting yes. now. Trans rights. Trans rights, obviously. Don't we're 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 there. We're there with we're you. On the right side of yes. history on this one. Um now we can move on to what give me some questions. What's up? What's going on? I'm ready. Uh how are you? Does Justin still hate rats? Yes. He will always hate rats. All rodents, really. Hey, is this wine? Let me see. <laughs> it oh is. Gosh, what, what kind of wine? Someone what kind of wine? Good. From grapes. There is no, it's. It's a, oh, it's a, what was it? Apothic, one of the Apothic, Apothic Crush. Mm. I know the Apothic blends are. I think a they're a little look, bit pedestrian. Yeah, I think they're looked down upon. I don't know anything about wine. They I are. should I shouldn't even pretend like I don't know. I have anything. lots of great wines I, upstairs. I only drink beer. I have four great wines upstairs. I mean, I'm like, looking forward to drinking. What can I I'll, I just want to can I just can Well, I, just I said talk? I only drink beer and that makes it so I only drink I only drink beer. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> I drink water most I have other wines. I like apothic this apothic blend is what I felt like. It's kind of sweet. It's nice. 
Favorite restaurant in Huntington? That's that's tough. Bonoff. Bonoff. It's that's a German place. It's a, um, yeah, it's a newer place, and they have sausage and big pretzels and a great beer selection, and I love it. For a town our size, cream puffs this big. Yeah, big as your head. They're great. Cream puffs. For a town our size, we have like starting to get a lot of really good restaurants. As people who've been here uh, can attest, uh, there's a new Greek place, not new, but it opened up in this like. It's downtown. It's called the Market. It's like a kind of open air, indoor. What would you call? It? I mean, I mean, it's like it's not a mall, it's like but I mean, restaurants and shops and like to local, a mall. all like local, like a mini mall. local kind of stuff. Very small. Yeah. Um, but there's a a it's new called Navarino Bay. Navarino Bay. They have the best pita bread I've ever had in my entire life because it's fried. Like, yeah, obviously it's the best. But that, yeah. that's probably not. Cooper nice. really loves it. She ate everything yeah. the other day for a long time. Uh, she's in the hummus. The kid's deep in hummus. She, yeah. Um, it's probably not my favorite restaurant. My favorite restaurant in town is probably Fazoli's. The, I'm just kidding. It's good. It's good Fazoli's. I got food poisoning once. I'm not going to say it was Fazoli's, but the timing was certainly suspicious. And I've never been able to eat there since. Uh, it's really good. Never since. Um, because all these breadsticks are pretty good. Um, favorite Agatha Christie novel, um, or Roger Ackroyd, probably. Probably Roger Ackroyd. I think that's the best Poro uh, of the ones I've read. I read like the first half of the the Poro, Poro canon. Uh, somebody asked if we could tell them about our wedding band. Oh, it's a uh, Clada. Oh, yeah. You see, I want to click on the camera so I can make sure it's not. Uh, it's, it may not focus. Yeah. But woo, 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 there. Mine's the same. The there smaller. we go. Wow. It's weirdly, mm -hmm. it really zoomed in there. But that's that's what we got. This is actually um, a replacement, isn't it? It is because you it lost is. It. I lost it initially. And this this was back. Uh, this is Nani's. Yes, that engagement is engagement ring you gave me. Is it she told you? <laughs> Do you want me to show yeah, that? Have, Nani would, would own it. After age, after Justin gave me Nani's uh, ring for our, our engagement, the first time I saw her after she held me and was crying and hugging me and uh, then was very close to me like this and holding my finger and rubbing my finger. And then she looked at me and said, and if you ever hurt him, I'll cut this finger off. <laughs> I said, okay. It was radical. It was totally radical. She would too. Um, so, uh, maximumfund.org forward slash donate. If you donate during this stream, oh, do the at McRoy family thing so we can, so I'll see it and, uh, let me know. We'll be sure to thank you. If you donate during the stream, what are you looking at? Somebody asked if your shirt was Golden Girls. And I no. Know it's, your, it's your Juddalo shirt. <laughs> um, Everyone's just telling me, I don't, I'm not probably going to say things in Taco's voice as a character uh, that I play on podcasting that's up to you not justin i'm i'm a different person sydney what's your favorite beer oh that's a good question it used to be so easy i would always say la fin du monde was my favorite beer and i still have a special place for it because it was the first like really good beer that i ever had <laughs> and i fell in love with it um but i'm mm, that's tough i'm more and more into ipas these days uh yeah, you used to so not like I pays at all. Yeah, although like the a lot of the Omagong beers are so good. Mm -hmm. Um, they're triple and like they have a quadruple. Gosh, they're so good. Maybe the Omagong triple right now. Um, I already said trans rights, but I'll say it again. If you want to see, you got to rewind at the beginning of the stream and then go to Maximum Fund or <laughs> donate. That's unrelated. Uh, but I'll, I mean, I said it, I'll say again, trans rights for sure. It's just the chat is moving very fast because all the people demanding that I say trans rights, which I'm totally like, again, so down with trans rights, but I, I am trying to read the question. 
Justin, what do you think of Garfield eats? Garfield eats. <laughs> we had eat, a whole conversation about Garfield eats. We talked eats about today. this. Uh, um, I'm just checking on Charlie. Uh, I thought Robert. you were looking up something about tra- uh, about uh, Garfield eats. Is she mm-hmm. okay? Yeah, she's fine. Poor thing. Um, so Garfield eats is a uh, mobile restaurant where they'll deliver you a pizza shaped like Garfield's head, not lasagna. Not lasagna. Um, That's the biggest problem there. I see. Yeah. Um, Otherwise, <laughs> excellent. Uh, why did you choose family medicine, Sid? Um, largely because I liked everything. I mean, that mm-hmm. was the biggest, the biggest reason. I went through on my. It was really not on my radar initially. I was going to do infectious diseases. Um, I, I really wanted to be an ID doc, and I did a lot of shadowing of ID doctors and they were great. This is no shade to ID. They were smart and cool and it was very interesting. Uh, But as I went through my rotations in my third year of medical school, I liked it all. I liked surgery and I liked OB and I liked pediatrics and I liked adult medicine and I liked inpatient and outpatient. And I wanted to do tropical stuff and travel, but I also wanted to feel comfortable practicing in the U S and uh, I like psych. Somebody mentioned psych. I liked, I liked behavioral medicine a lot more than I thought I would. I liked psych a lot more. Um, and so I did family medicine last and I realized I can do it all here in family med. Um, someone asked what, uh, favorite ride at Disney World. For me, like selfishly, I can't go on it anymore because we have little kids we take, but it's Space Mountain forever. Mm. Um, but now that we have Charlie and Cooper, now it's different. Cause now it's, what do I, what is like when, when Charlie goes on the frozen ride, she's just like in heaven. Yeah. So now like, it's, I don't know. It's different. Now. Um, it, so retro answer journey into, uh, imagination, uh, the original with dream master, um, journey into your imagination, the one with Eric Idle is not great it's fine it's serviceable it's, 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 it's not great it's broken down the past two times that we've been on it um not my fave um any chance you two will see jordan peels us i mean yeah heck yeah i really like get out so for sure yeah for sure. How will we how will we make that happen? It's a good question, but we'll figure something out. Most of the time we just have to wait till we can watch movies at home. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately. Favorite Girl Scout cookie. Uh the what is it called now? <sighs> it changed its name. The cookie formerly known as Samoa's. Samoas? I thought they changed. Oh, they did change them. Hold on. Here comes the chat with like 30 people saying what Samoas are called now. Those, oh, though. Those. Hold on. Those Here are my comes. Favorite. Here comes. Wait for it. I uh, I can't truck with the Caramel Delights. Caramel Delights. Thank Caramel you. Caramel Delights. Yes. Those. Those are my favorite. Caramel I know. Lights. I know. The, I know the correct answer is supposed to be Thin Mints. That's what everybody says. Uh, thin mints are, I mean, it's basic, but I don't like them. I'm drinking apothic wine, and my favorite Girl Scout cookie is thin mints. I, mean, I come, hate them. Come like, at me. I'm like, I'm not gonna turn down a thin mint, but like, it's not my, not my fave. I haven't had anybody tell me that they donated during the drive, during the stream. I mean, during this stream specifically, maximumfund.org forward slash donate. Please, if you can give five bucks a month, that would mean so much to us, and it really help, helps keep the network going. I designed I, this. I designed. Some people ask, by the way, real quick. I designed this Judd Lowe T-shirt. Uh, well, technically, Justin Russo did the design, and it was my idea. We have a Judd, uh, uh, the Judds, and we have a Judd Nelson. <laughs> uh, thank you, Christine. Uh, we have a Judd. Yeah, those are the two. We were going to do Judd. No, no, no. We have a Judd Hirsch, and the Judds. We have not done Judd Nelson yet. Uh, we made this like six years ago, and I just found it at the bottom of my drawer. So I'm stooped. Uh, you're right. A lot of people are pointing out in some parts of the country, apparently, they are still called Samoas. We found that out. I don't know, but they were changed to Caramel Delights around here. Go figure. Thank you, Gelatin Skeleton. Good. <laughs> it's good. 
Yeah. Um, Same cookie. Make sure you, name. if you donated, I don't know why. I don't know why. Make sure you at the McElroy family because it highlights it on my screen so I can see it. Uh, if you do that and you didn't donate, just to get my attention, I'll be mad at you. Uh, let's see. What's your favorite arc in the B.O.B. story? Bob's story? What about Bob? I don't think that's what. No, I don't know. Um, there's just the one arc, right? It's like Bob makes a mess of things. Thank you, Dr. Cool Guy. Thank you, John. You don't um, you know what they're asking. Uh, thanks, Max. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Jacob. Uh, j just if you donated during this stream, if this stream convinced you, I know a lot of other people have donated. Answer Thanks, Super your, J. Answer their question. Um, thank you, Panther and Prancington. Uh, yeah, it's probably 11th hour. Um, that it's kind of a Groundhog Day. The Groundhog Day one, um, is probably my favorite. Um, it's probably my favorite. Thank you, Mel. Um, Somebody asked if Charlie likes going to the doctor. No. 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 Um, I mean, she, I think she likes, she likes that I work there. And so she kind of likes that she gets to wander around the office with me and like hang out in my physical office. Like the office, you know what I mean? Hang out in my office. I think she likes that part. She thinks it's cool. But um, she now knows that it is a place where occasionally she gets shots and she's not. She I mean, she gets it like she knows she needs them and she understands and she's willing to get them. But like she's still a kid. She's not thrilled about it. Yeah. She got really freaked out by uh, we got. Thanks, Antlers Art. Thanks, Beauty. We get this box called the, a matter box. Where mm -hmm. did you find out about these? I don't know. They send you like five random objects. And they're kind of cool. Like we got like we get a lot of fossils and like we got some redwood seeds and we got a computer chip from like an old like 70s NASA computer. Just like neat stuff. And like there's a little card that goes with each one and tells you what they are. Well, one of them was like a blood type testing kit, a little at home kit where you could like prick your finger and do the thing to see what your blood type is. Thanks, Robert. And uh, man, that freaked her out. It's presence in our house. I had to check under her covers to make sure there wasn't a, like a little lancet under her covers after she was aware it existed. That really freaked her out. Really freaked her out. But we did it later after she went to bed. Justin did it. Um, a positive. Positive. Same as me. Blood type buddies. Blood type buddies. Uh, Justin, how much do you need? For me to be your mistress. Well, that's inappropriate. I'm married. Um, We're not taking applicants. No anymore. applicants. <laughs> we we had open applications for so long. Now we've got a huge pile of resumes to go through. And it's just, it's exhausting. We're both a lot. There's only enough room in this relationship <laughs> for the two of us. <laughs> We're a lot. Um. Mm. Hey, thank you, Chance. Um, <laughs> best cheese. <laughs> best cheese. Do you know Justin won't eat cheese that's not melted? You know that. You all know that, don't you? Do you know that? I'm a big fan of Dubliner. That. Justin likes melted cheese. Like, if it's melted, he'll eat it. And then if it's not, he won't eat any of it. <laughs> um, how do you deal with bad mental health days? Um, you're probably better to answer that than me. I don't, you know what? For me, it was, it's been very defined periods in my life. Like after, after I gave birth to Charlie, but like, I don't, I mean, it, I'm big into acceptance therapy right now. Like big into acceptance, like realizing like, oh, I know what's happening. I'm having a bad mental health day and accepting that I think is really helpful because it's like. I think a lot of the difficulty some people have, uh, so I should speak for myself. A lot of difficulty I have is like realizing that I feel Go ahead. So thank you, Riley. I can't keep up. Um, it is. Uh, yes. Don't, don't call me carrots. It has to be monthly. Yeah. Like, that's what I was going to say. Thank you. Andrew. Yeah, it has to be a monthly. It has to be monthly. Yeah. Um, 
uh, I think realizing that you're having a bad mental health day is really important because I think once you do that, you can kind of relax a little bit and just kind of chuck through it. That's my, my two cents. I think it also helps that Justin isn't always very in touch with his emotions mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm getting better about picking up on it, but occasionally you will actually recognize it and tell me how you're feeling. And I think when he's open about it, it seems to be a, like we can cope better together yeah. than just trying to like quietly get through it without help. But I have to help you with that a lot. Um, okay. I just put somebody in timeout because they're asking the same question over and over again. Justin, I'm listen. Get real. Let's get real, folks. Let's get real. I don't approve of that. Yeah. Well, I'm, my fingers on the clicker. I'm sorry. I'm not. Find your manners. If Whose I, house is the messiest in the McElroy Empire? You know, when we visit, we're at a point now where when we visit each other's houses, we're company. So I feel like everybody cleans their houses for everybody else to visit. Right, like nobody's yeah. like leaving it like messy. No, nobody's is really. I mean, I I think ours is the close. Ours is probably the worst. Though. I mean, it's because we have two kids, and they just like you, when you have little kids, you have to have corners of your house that you just like pretend don't exist. Because okay, you you know what, chat? Check this out. Hold on a second. Y'all want to freak? Check this. Yeah, show them behind the couch. Oh. Yeah. The area yeah. The couch. Yes, those are those are what you get when you have a lot of overactive grandparents. So. Um, so yeah, like you just have to like, yes, I know. Um, it's just, you have to, uh, you just have to make your peace with it. There's certainly going to be some areas of your house. You have to pretend that exists. That's life. Yeah. Ours is probably the messiest. It's probably the messiest day to day. Um, sometimes it works so fast. I know. It goes so fast. You know, I, I think I can do that. If I scroll, I think I can slow down a little bit. Yeah. Um, thanks, R Ferrari. R, hello, thank you. Um, I think it, a lot of people have asked what a lot of the pins are great. I'm very partial to the Sawbones pin because it's the the Provax one. That's very good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's my that's my favorite. Have I tried Baba Is You? Yes, Michael, I have. It's quite good. It's a good switch game. If you need a good switch puzzle game, I won't try to explain the rules, but it's very good. Thanks, Ashley. You would think, like, I feel like I should just be able to, like, ask for a pen. Can I just buy one? Okay. Like, I can't. Um, but if I could, I would just buy one. Uh, um, will you be donating the very young kid toys when your kids grow out of them? This is an excellent question. It's very hard to donate, like, little kid toys because they get really gross. Not all places. There are some places locally that will take used toys. But they have to be in really nice shape. Yeah. And, um, I mean, the kids have used them, so not a lot are. Right now, we haven't gotten rid of much because yeah, we had everything weird, down to Cooper. Yeah, we're at a weird position where we have to keep, we had to keep all the little kid mm -hmm. toys. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, the, 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 yes. Traditionally, anything we've gotten rid of, clothes or anything, like stuff that we couldn't, uh, we didn't save for Cooper or we... Uh, did save and now she's grown out of traditionally anything like that we we donate as long as there's somebody to take it uh, 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 um, Paul asked where would you live if not in West Virginia I've been so many places that I like let's start in America first I think it would probably be somewhere in the Pacific Northwest yeah, that's a good answer. I really love it up there. It is beautiful. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, I love oh, it. But I always thought I'd move somewhere warm. I always used to say Savannah. Yeah, Savannah would be gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if that... We've been more places, so there are other places I, I really do like, but so warm and beautiful. And Where was the last one? You know where people were really nice was Denver. Mm -hmm. We're in Denver. Everybody was so... I have legal pot there, so I need mean, part <laughs> But everybody was really very, nice very in Denver. Nice. I used to always want to live in D.C. Mm -hmm. Crazy cost of living up there. Yeah. It's wild. It's just all the history and all the places you go. Tybee Island would be nice. I, I would say with Tybee, though, it's like you're – you're probably more limited on like think like cultural stuff, like even restaurants and shopping and stuff. 
it, you're more limited than Huntington, like by, well, by far. I mean, you can drive into Savannah, Savannah, right? Savannah but if you're so gonna drive easily. like 40 minutes and get really drunk because they have street minutes. drinking. It's like it, it can be that with traffic. Well, it depends on what the traffic over yeah. the. Or the causeway yeah. closes down because it yeah. it rains too much. Um, no, but I mean Tybee's great. Like we we vacation about Tybee like, for well, years. good for vacation. We, I'm just saying like we you, love Tybee. We yeah. haven't we haven't been back in a couple years. We've been trying out some other places, but we love Tybee. We love Savannah. Um, favorite steak is probably my mom's chest bars. It's a really easy recipe, and they're pretty foolproof, but they are good. My favorite thing for you to bake is Ritz Tort. Ritz Tort is Sydney's favorite. This is when the chat is like, what the hell is Ritz Tort? Hold on a second, chat. Go ahead. Sydney, talk to her for a second. I'll pull up her I was just going to say, I don't bake. So, they can so I can't answer it. that question. I can't. I just can't do it. You can cook okay. Go ahead. So take some questions. I'm going to get the recipe for Ritz Tort, and I'll share it with the chat. Um... <laughs> Favorite candle? <laughs> I favorite, don't know. favorite candle? I don't have. We, I don't have, have we actually got. What was that? What was the one? What was that company that we got? Sydney is really uh, sensitive. Uh, allergy. Scent. Yeah. This did, you know what's weird? This didn't happen until after I had Charlie. During my pregnancy, I got real sensitive to some, like strong, like perfumey scents, those kinds of scents, and it and uh, it stuck. And now I can't wear perfume. I can't use scented anything. I can't, we can't have like candles that are scented strongly. We have to get like hypoallergenic, all that kind of, I don't know what happened, but pregnancy is weird. It does weird things to you. And now all that stuff bothers me. Okay. Chat. Hairspray. Oof. If you need, my lips are starting to turn purple. So you know the wine's good. If you need my mom's recipe naughty for grape juice boy. Not a grape juice boy is what Sydney calls me when I drink wine. I don't think <laughs> it doesn't make me feel distinguished. If you need my mom's recipe for its tour, I'm going to show it to you right here. Hold on. Go ahead, get your screen cap ready. Uh, it looks it's backwards. It's backwards on our screen. Hopefully it's not backwards on yours. But okay. if it if it is backwards on your screen, consider it a puzzle. Ooh, it's a puzzle. You have to decode and hold up to a mirror. Okay. Um, I'm assuming you've screen capped it by now. But that is a good recipe. Somebody asked, what was it like the first time I met the McElroys? That's what was that funny. like, Squid? What was it like? Well, I the first McElroy I met was your dad. Yeah. With Clint, because uh, he cast me in Wizard of Oz. No, he wasn't directing. George was. George was directing. But I, I met your dad first. He was working on it, I feel like. Yeah, he was just, maybe he was just there. He was, no, he was Oz. Well, I met your dad. Yeah. And I don't know. I probably met Travis before I met you. I used to have that picture. I don't know where it of is. Of all of you guys in the wizard. You should find that picture. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Travis was one of the flying monkeys, the lead. Wasn't he like the main flying monkey? Yeah. Leader of the flying monkeys. I think I met Trav first. And uh, um, I don't, I mean, I thought you were all, I mean, like what everybody thinks. I thought you were all very funny. I thought you were goofy. Did you feel, um, did you feel like it was, some people when we're all in a room together can find it kind of overwhelming because we're all sort of talking at the same time. So no, good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. That's part of the reason that I, like, I knew that it would work well because like you, between you and me, because I, I feel like one really good indication uh, for if you're with the right person is if you are the same person with that person as you are with like your friends or your family or whoever knows you closest. If you have to like tweak your behavior at all to be, to get along with that person, I don't think that you, uh, I don't think it's a good match. And I feel like uh, with Sydney, I just, it's exactly the same way I am mm -hmm. around my, my brothers. Yeah. I was never intimidated um, hanging out with all you guys. Thanks Ashley. You know, it's kind of funny is like, I was actually probably friends with Travis first. Because we were about mm. the same age. Mm -hmm. And so we hung out. I remember through like theater doing like gift wrapping to raise money for the community theater and stuff at the mall um, before you and I started hanging out. And then we dated briefly and then you broke my heart. Yeah. And we got back together. We years got back later. together years later. It's true. 
are, are you going to be on Good, Good Christian Fun anytime soon? They got to ask me. Kevin asked me, I'll do it. I'd love to be on that show, talk about uh, Christian Christian mu- uh, music and culture. Um, Sydney, any advice on COVID with plantar fasciitis? No medical questions. I'm sorry. It's illegal. I really can't. To give I mean, advice. Talk, talk to your doctor, but I will say, like, they're going to tell you to roll a, a ball under your foot, and that's good advice. I've had patients tell me that instead of a tennis ball, they get a water bottle and freeze it and roll the frozen water bottle under their foot and that they like it better because it's cold and it does the stretching thing. I've had a lot of patients tell me they like that better. Thanks, Bob. Just putting it out there. Justin proposed to me. Was it was New Year's Year's technically day. Yeah, because it was right at midnight and it was 2005, 2006. 2006, technically. Six. Yeah, it technically. Was, yeah. It was like 12. January 1st, 2006. Yeah. Everybody was there. Mm-hmm. Like everyone we knew at the time. Yeah. All of our family and friends gathered around. And just did it. It was very sweet. It was good. And we're good. I said yes. Sydney, who's your favorite Monster Factory child? We, you've watched you watched a lot of Monster Factory. I've watched some of them. Who's your favorite? <sighs> Probably... Probably Final Pam. That's correct. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Justin likes to give me a hard time because I don't listen to and watch everything he does. Did you say I, everything or anything? No, it's not any. That is so not true. Okay. Why don't we list some of the things that I make that you don't consume? Just briefly. I haven't listened to The Adventure Zone. That's the only one that I haven't heard. Patrick Roth has said it's the best story he's ever heard in any medium. I'm sorry. It's. Fantasy uh, auteur. I, I says, very rarely am able to listen to podcasts. And it's you fine. make me sound so terrible. It's not that I dislike it. I'm sure I would love it. It's if just, you, Sydney, I don't know when. Either I'm with the kids or I'm working and Sydney, I can't listen to if podcasts. You, oh no, I dropped you. Sydney, if you feel bad about your life choices, I can't fix that for you. Well, can you imagine if I'm like walking around doing rounds in the hospital and I'm I got my earbuds in. Yeah, and you're like, like and people are also like, why do you look well, so happy no, and in trance? are like telling me about like their chest pain. And why are I'm you like, laughing? Not but right also, now. Are you laughing but crying at the same time? That must be an amazing narrative you're consuming. That's all right. You know what you could do? You could watch the girls for me, like commit to a, a <laughs> for, stretch of for, time. For s- 69 straight hours. Uh-huh. Nice. And I could listen to all of the adventures then. Well, you've already read the graphic novel. Well, the, the, you read the graphic novel because it's just like. I read take... part of it. <laughs> Chat. Maximumfund.org forward slash donate. I have no time. Support your boy. I could start doing that when I'm on the If bike. you wrote a book, I would read it. That's what I'm saying. I, I did write a book. I wrote half of it with <laughs> you. And I read it for the audiobook. Um, you don't listen to Still Bob. If you turn it into a graphic novel, I would read, oh, <laughs> I would yeah. read it. I'll start doing that when I'm on the bike instead of rewatching Fringe. <laughs> I, I, what? Instead of rewatching Fringe. Can I say though, like, let's, can we talk about this for a second? The podcast mm-hmm. thing. It's weird. It's weird for both of us to like, like, okay, Sydney was on JV Club, another great Maximum Fun podcast, maximumfund.org forward slash donate, uh, five, 10, 20 bucks a month, whatever you can spare. We really appreciate it. Sydney was on the JV Club. You should, it came out today. Came out today. I, mean, Jan, I wasn't on it today. Janet Varney. Um, and I, I like it <laughs> turned it on because I wanted to hear some of it. And I hear Sydney yell from upstairs, like, are you listening to me? And I was like, yeah. She's like, why? I was like, I don't know. I just wanted to hear how the show went. It is weird to listen to people. That you know the sawbones very much. Like it's just it feels strange you to listen. This is a big sawbones. Yeah, yeah. Teresa listens to mm-hmm. sawbones. Um, but like it, it feels strange to listen to your family do stuff. I don't know. It's just because like you could it feel there's definitely the sense of like, oh, man, I should just talk to them. I'm just gonna call them and talk to them. Um, so and and also like I don't know. It it doesn't bother me. I give Sydney a hard time, but I think it's I think it's pretty great. We just need to move further away from work, so I have more of a commute. 
<laughs> there you go. I mean, that's true. Uh, let's see here. Thank you, Milo. Hey, thank you, Allie. If you donate, please do at the McElroy family. If you donate during the stream and do at the McElroy family, please don't use it for questions, just for new donors. We want to welcome them. And then I'll check the counter real quick to make sure it just went up by one. They said, uh, what do my coworkers think about the podcast? Thanks, Blush Kaiju. M most of them don't listen. <laughs> I mean, we're not. They don't have an excuse. They're not related to us. I will say, in like, in Huntington in general, we don't have like a huge listener base for any of our shows. It um, is when we go to larger cities, um, we almost always meet a few fans at different places. Uh, in Huntington, we it's very rare. Very rare, <laughs> honestly. There's like the one guy who works at Walmart. That uh, we see. There's two. Yeah, there's two. There's the yeah. one. Uh, one cat in the produce section, and then there's one cat in the bakery or bakery slash deli mm -hmm. that, that do. Um, there's uh, one fans at the inner geek, one the bookstore person at Target. They listen, I know, because they have very, very kindly, they always give Charlie extra stickers, which mm -hmm. I very much dig. But it's, but it is, it's, it's rare, um, to find somebody. So, like, some of my colleagues do, and they, they really enjoy it and think it's cool. Thanks, um, the, ones, the ones that are into it, but the majority of them, they know I do it now. Like they're aware that, that I do something that is called a podcast. And some of them know what that is. Some of them have no, idea. like, where do you do that? Like a lot of them will say like, I'll watch it someday or <laughs> yeah, someday you'll have to give me a copy. And it's like, well, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. It's weird. That's why it's good to have a book. Cause you can just like hand people a book. Um, that's nice. It keeps you. It keeps you honest. It keeps you humble. Nobody around here knows who we are. <laughs> Somebody asked about my brother, my brother May season two. Um, I I would love to make it. It's really hard. Uh, we all things that are different. Um, than when we made season one of my brother, my brother, me. Uh, thing one, we have three more kids than like we not did. As personal. Like not as personally. We have three. We have collectively three more kids than we did when we made that first season of the show. Um, and second thing, the network that made it is dead. <laughs> so it would be it would be very tough uh, to get that going again. If somebody comes along and they, mm -hmm. you know, wanna, wanna pay for us to do the show again, I would love to do it, it was so fun to do. Um, I would love to do something with JD or showrunner again. It is just hard to find the time and for us to all get together, it took like three weeks to film the first season. Um, so it's hard to, um, and, and a Kickstarter, it's, it's, I get that for sure. Uh, and I think people would support it, but like, I personally feel weird about doing the max fund drive, maximum fund or four slash donate. Uh, I feel weird about doing the max fund drive and then going back to people and be like, now can you kickstart? A TV show. It's just like I'm worried that I don't. I don't want people to have to like choose one or the mm -hmm. other. Um, yeah. People have already been so super supportive of the stuff we've made. It, it may happen someday. It's just like I'm really hesitant about it for that reason because I, I, I don't want y'all to have to pay for it. I want <laughs> some old person that doesn't understand why they're writing a check for it to pay for it. Because then I don't care what happens to their money. I care what happens to your money. Well, you care that it's I know, but it doesn't have to be I people don't have product. to like, Yeah, but you it know, doesn't have I mean, to like there's no pressure to like win that, a big audience. By the way, if you see me looking at my phone, it's I'm checking on our children. Yeah, Charlie's got kind of a little stomach bug. Yeah, we She's said that asleep. we said that right when we started, but a lot more people are here now. Charlie has a stomach bug and I think she's fine now. I think the the puking is done for tonight, but I'm just mm. checking in on her periodically. Um, ice cream, though. You know what? Ice cream. That's a good topic. I love ice cream. I like ice cream as long as there's mix-ins. I, I got to have a little texture in there. If it's just straight ice cream, like, I can't. I can't. I can't uh, mess around with that. I like the this um, ice cream taco thing that one of our local ice cream places, Austin's, makes. It's mm -hmm. like a big taco shell bowl, and then it's got cinnamon ice cream in it. 
It's got nuts and honey and whipped cream and Stop chocolate and syrup. Me. Stop, you're killing me. <sighs> We're both dieting. I'm gonna miss it. I'm, I would love to eat um, a dessert taco. It's currently. so good. Um, my birthday is next week. I'm gonna eat one. Yes. I'm gonna eat one for my birthday. March 27th, folks. <laughs> Mark it down your calendars. Send your gifts Just to P.O. Box now. 54, 100 to West Virginia, 25706. No, you don't have to send no, money. No, please like, don't send money, spend money on us. Thank you. Good thoughts. Just donate money to us. Don't buy it. Don't buy us. <laughs> no. You're already too supportive. Cereal next. What is your guys' favorite? We did this yesterday. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Captain Crunch. <laughs> well, they didn't know. They weren't here. Well, I'm telling them right now. Uh... Thank you, everybody, for all the happy early birthday. Yeah. Save <laughs> it for March 27th. Mark it in your calendars. Very nice. Justin, you. is your vi vision still 2020? You know it is. <laughs> perfect vision. 38 years old. Perfect vision. The only one in my family with perfect vision. Amazing. How does he do it? Nobody knows. I am 2400 in Justin's Oh, are you showing off Emilio? She came up to see what's going on. Hi, Emilio. That's Amelia, our cat. That's that Amelia. We can't touch. We, we can look her. at her on stream. Mm -hmm. We can look at her, but don't touch her. Don't touch her. Don't She'll run. run away. You can try. We haven't touched that cat since we got her, other than taking her to the vet. Mm -hmm. Why are you called hoops? Because I'm good at basketball. Next. He started calling himself Hoops. Well, and also Tom, thank you. Tom, thank you to, to Lauren. Yay. J-Man is... Okay, so I would try to get a lot of nicknames started for myself. Uh, Hoops, J-Man, The Kid. Yeah. Forgot about The Kid. I've tried to get The Kid going for a while. The weird thing about J-Man is it caught him with your dad. Like your dad will call me J-Man. Because I'll start telling people like... Call me J Man now. I'm going by J Man. And for some reason, that on. one I knew he was kidding, but for some reason, and Juice, um, that's old. That's that's, that's old very school. old. Yeah, yeah, that's and still like Clint calls you Juice, and the boys do. The boys do. Yeah. Um, uh, who else did? Did Paul? Maybe somebody did that. You're not related. That we're not related to. Did what? Called you juice. I don't know. Oh, you're on the boat. Paul calls me hoops usually. Oh, somebody else did. I thought it was very Roderick? funny. Maybe it was Roderick. Somebody called you juice, and I thought it was very funny because that has Roderick. that has transcended. That has gone. Yeah. But for whatever yeah, reason, Lynn does sometimes. Yeah. Lynn does call me juice sometimes. For some reason, J Man is the one that stuck for me. I have no idea, but I call him J Man. A lot of the time. It's just I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I call Sydney uh Sid Sid, Sid. Squid Squid Sid. Cricket. It varies. Um Justin Sydney, make an ASMR video, please. Uh we did we an did ASMR one. episode, not a video. It was an ASMR episode. Um it was a bonus episode. Drive before last? Sounds right. Yeah. Um, so if you donate. How did you guys get turned on the taxpayers? Content. Funny question. Uh, there used to be. Okay, so when you're doing a podcast, it's very important that you have uh, Creative Commons music in it. Because if not, uh, or you get the rights to the music. Because if not, you can get in trouble. When we joined Maximum Fun, lo, these eight years ago. They asked, how'd you guys get the rights to ABBA? And we were like, um, rights? And then we <laughs> changed it to, <laughs> it's a departure. But John Roderick and Long Winders off their own. Did not bed. get a cease and desist letter. Did not. We changed it before that could happen. So I searched a, uh, there used to be a lot of free music libraries. YouTube has a pretty good one. This one's one was on Vimeo. And I searched for medicine because we were doing a medical show. And the very first track that popped up was this like, whoop tushy little like folk pop 
thing that they had made and i was like well this is we absolutely loved perfect we just absolutely loved it from the first time we heard it yeah uh can you suggest a name for my trumpet what about brass boy <laughs> justin's qualified because he was in the band i played trumpet lips were too big had to switch to euphonium or marching trombone Euphonium, I've baritone, I, however you want to say. I've always it. said that's a fake instrument Justin made up was euphonium. It's real. I know it's not. I know it's real. Someone said Justin, did you get to hang out with TMG here. on the cruise? Uh I hung out with John Flansburg a couple of times. It was he was very cool. Uh I tried to to hide my deep and rabid fandom of the group until the last night when I got a little bit too tipsy and told him exactly how much his band meant to me. Showed him my tattoo. It was very nice. He was very chill about it. Yeah. Um, Linnell was not physically on the cruise. Um, okay. Did you guys hear this? I'm going to tell you the story. This is wild. So Flansburg was on the cruise. Linnell was flying into Puerto Rico to do this for the Joko cruise last week. Linnell was flying to Puerto Rico to just do the Giants show at the outdoor concert. We had like Jill Sobule, Jonathan Colton, uh, Tune Yards. Um, Hall and Storm uh, were, were playing, and then TMBG was closing mm -hmm. out. Uh, the skies opened up as soon as they might be doing we to start playing. They delayed, they delayed, they delayed, uh, and nothing. Eventually, they had to call it, right? They called it, called the storm. Thousands of people on the, on the beach. It was so sad. It was so At sad. That, in that moment, it was so sad. It gets happy, don't and, worry. And then everybody's lining up to get back on the boat, and uh, Flansburg rushes past them carrying his guitar case, like saying, 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock. They moved. Thank you, EL. Or Aaron, thank you. Um, they carry all their gear, all the crew carries all the gear onto the boat, gets special permission. Yeah, because, that's, because you're not really allowed to just like get on a cruise ship if you're not on the cruise. But they had gotten them on a guest list ahead of time yeah like this is this is how paul and the gang made this happen yeah um but they were waiting for a car to transport the band from like their concert site to right up to the boat so they didn't have to walk in the rain and it wasn't coming and i guess the whole band was like it's cool it's fine and so like a bunch of the fans like people on the cruise like came running over and created an umbrella brigade and just led the crew and the in the band and the equipment and just and they got on. Got them all they on the got boat, on on the boat. Ran they, on stage. Ran on stage. They had fifty minutes before they like Linnell had to get off the boat because it was pulling out of the dock that night. Yeah, like we were, and and if he was and like and we were leaving, like there we were was leaving. scheduled time. Like he we were had pulling to out. be off the boat. Yeah, or he was stuck on a cruise. And I think a couple of the other guys were getting off too. And they put pushed it to. They were announcing from the wings, like yelling at them, how many more minutes. And they tore through their entire set list. Every song was like two minutes long, mm -hmm. but it was like, it was awesome. It was like absolutely amazing. Four Everybody minutes. was he had, soaked. He, he, he had four he minutes. ran off the boat with four minutes to spare. Like to run off this giant boat with four minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was like, it was pretty, it was a pretty amazing, uh, amazing thing. It was really amazing. Did. Everybody was so cool about it. Nobody was like complaining about how it went down. Everybody uh, was supportive. Yeah, it was very, it was extremely cool. Yeah. Um, if you uh, donated during this stream, if you're donating during this stream, do at the McElroy family and tell us so I can be sure to thank you. Um, Justin, did you eat your Oops All Brothers cereal or do you still have it? I ate it and it yeah. was great. I brought the box home with me. It was, uh, it was New Orleans. So we were all... Uh, indulging a little too much in alcohol, cereal. Don't do the Nolan thing. Nolan's. No, don't do the Nolan thing. Somebody asked if I'm into the pimple popper craze. Thank you, Hestia. Thank you, Matt. Is that a craze? Thank you, Ashley. Pimple the pimple popper. There's like a show, Dr. Pimple Popper. That's oh. repellent. That's repellent. Oh, like the videos and stuff. You know, I get it. I mean, I, I find that very satisfying. I, I mean, I don't, I still don't recommend, like, you shouldn't pop your pimples. Thanks, Sarah. Nobody it's not should. good for you. No, it's not good for your skin. You shouldn't do it. But let's talk um, about anything else. I, I, I'm talking about that. I don't watch the videos. Thank you, stuff, Kay. That's what you're asking. But I, I get it. Like, you're still I get talking about it. I don't want to I'm just saying, like, so I understand. I connect to that, but I don't. Just talk about anything else. Talk about literally anything else. Kay, your pie. 
pie. Cake. It's a happy marriage, folks. I don't know. I don't know. Cheesecake is cake, no matter what he says. Um. Do you watch Queer Eye? Yes. Yes. We so haven't watched good. the new ones yet no. because we've been watching. Uh, thanks, Michael. We've been watching uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine, yeah. trying to catch up to that. And then I'm trying to get Sid chat. Don't spoil anything, but tell Sydney she should watch uh, Killing Eve. I think I might try to do it this weekend because it's like there's like eight episodes of the first season. I want to catch up before the uh, second season starts next month. I'm um, gonna watch more Brooklyn Nine Nine. I will. I will. But like Killing Eve is like really good. Um, have you seen Russian Doll? Okay, so that looks good. I heard a lot of good things about it. Um, but I worry it'd be too grim. Sydney, Sydney, uh, I would say me, but also thank you, Jamie. I would say me, but also to a greater extent, Sydney, do not really groove on stuff that's a little too dark in our entertainment. Um, it's weird. I, it's, it's been harder for me as I've gotten older. I, I don't you mean you get like, a belly full of it at work, too. Like, yeah, and I just I need. Like, I'm not saying it has to be like cotton candy at home, but um, if it's too, if it's consistently dark, or there are just certain buttons. Yeah. I always talk about the first episode of the TV show Fargo. Yes. Which I, I know it's it. excellent. I watched I know, all the episodes. But I, I made it almost to the end of the first episode, and I guess I, I don't want to spoil in case anybody wants to watch it. I don't want to spoil the first episode. Thank you, Ashley. Somebody dies and. It just the circumstance. I just I was done. Like at that moment, I burst into tears and went, "I can't watch this. I can't watch this." I don't know. Even if there's redemption, it's like it's just not. It's kind of a deal breaker for Sydney. Have you just juice? Last year, as I saw you all discuss cow, cauliflower opinions. Have those changed since then? I said. Did uh, you say that? I said cauliflower is just crunchy bits in water. And I replied, just like people. Well. One very funny joke from me. <laughs> uh, cauliflower is still great. Ooh. I love cauliflower. Yeah. It's like my favorite vegetable. Pretty good. It's delicious. I will eat it <sighs> raw. I will eat it with. Raw or raw cooked? Or you, cooked. I'll eat it wait, raw. Can you list oh, other, <laughs> other ways? That's no, raw or chop a binary. it up and eat it. I will raw. put it in hummus. Raw. I put it in salads. Raw. <laughs> I like to roast it. Cook. It's good <laughs> if you put curry <laughs> on it. And roast it and the uh, like curry powder and roast it. Or just garlic and salt and pepper and olive oil. Cauliflower's delicious. Charlie did watch the Shiro reboot. It was extremely good. But it was. I watched Thank it you, Mally. It. Yes, Wonderful. it was extremely good. Yes. Loved it, loved it. The D, the new DC Superhero Girls cartoon is really good, too. Yeah, not the original. The original DC Superhero Girls is fine, but um, the new DC Superhero Girls is being run by the showrunner um, of uh, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, and it is really good. It's got, like, really cool takes on the character designs. Uh, Supergirl, especially, is, like, much bulkier, and she looks very, what? Mm -hmm. I was reading. Oh, you're not listening? But not all Supergirl is much bulkier, and yes, it's good. It's cool. It's, it's very good. It's very cool. Very much focused on like mm -hmm. teamwork and friendship and supporting other young women and stuff. Yeah, it's and cool. it's just I I can't say enough. I've said this before. I said this on Still Buff about the DC superhero girls. They're teenage girls, and they're never, at least so far in this show, and then in the other DC superhero girls, they're never having conversations about dating. Or boys, and I just I love that. It's like an anomaly. Like name other shows where that's true. It's so rare to find teenage girls who are focused on each other and on like their themselves and uh, like harnessing their power, literally and figuratively, and understanding mm -hmm. it and supporting each other. I mean, it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked if I had ever doubted being a physician. That's what I was. Reading. Oh. Uh, I had a really hard time during my first year of residency. My first, my called the intern year. It's the first year of residency. No matter what you do, it's the intern year, and uh, it's notoriously hard. You work at Misha. least, huh? Thanks. You work at least eighty hours a week, and then off the books, a lot of us work more than that. And I got to a point halfway through. Justin will remember well where I was calling from the hospital, like on call, 2 a.m., in the call room, 
in tears asking Justin, like, literally, is there anything else I can do with this medical degree? Are there other jobs? Because I can't handle this now. Um, Because it was so overwhelming. And, you know, they talk about burnout as something that happens to physicians after they've been practicing a long time. It can happen. I mean, it's, it's overwhelming the amount of work and then what you are doing, the, the, the kind of work you have to do and then doing it within the American healthcare system, which is ridiculous and dangerous and harmful in so many ways. It's, it's very hard. I think it's very normal that it doesn't mean you should give up or quit or go in a different direction necessarily. I mean, surely there are some better. people who change their minds. But yes, it got better and I found ways to cope and I'm glad I didn't give up. I'm glad I didn't do something else with my uh, degree. But Some people again are asking about the shirt. It still says 100% Juddalo on it. And it's the Juds. Um, uh, someone said, what would I be doing if I wasn't podcasting? Um, I I mean, I was writing about video games. I, had a, uh, I loved doing that. Um, Thank you, Lachlan. Um, I love... Uh, I mean, I wasn't a very good journalist because I didn't like, I liked writing. Um, I didn't like interviewing people because I, here's, you don't get real. Um, I didn't like interviewing people because I, it's really important to me on a subconscious level to be smart and for people to think that I like know what I'm talking about. And when you're a journalist, you have to constantly be in the position of asking people questions and like looking dumb. And I was so worried constantly about asking the wrong questions and sounding dumb in front of people that I hated doing it. And I, 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 it, if I didn't have time to like completely research, you when I was a beat reporter, I'd get caught up like house fires and stuff like that, or like crime scenes. And I would be, I would like, I just wouldn't know what to say, like, and I wouldn't be able to formulate good questions. Uh, uh, I just wasn't very good at it. I was, I was okay as a writer, but. Um, you won awards for your. Yeah, it was like stories that take a long time writing. to like pull together. Um, That's what it was, right? Business writing. Yeah, business writing. AP award for business business That's writer. Right. I'm sure. Um, uh, stories like that that take a long time to pull together, and I can research like that was mm-hmm. fine. But like doing more spot news and stuff was like, um, <laughs> was tough. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw favorite extreme sport. Favorite extreme sport guy. Do you know us? Who can choose? (laughs) Do you know us? They're all so extreme. All the sports we do. You know, I used to be quite the sportster. Yeah. Back in the day. They weren't extreme. They were just like regular sports. I played soccer and tennis and softball and a little bit of basketball. And I played. uh, I was I was I was pretty good at at everything that I tried. Like I was I was never like the best, but I, I. I, I would say I inherited some athleticism. I played baseball, football, side, so. soccer, and I was the uh, scorekeeper for the basketball team. Got a trophy because we won that season, thanks to my scorekeeping. <laughs> did In you, part. Oh, did you cheat? Did I cheat? Um, you said that you won thanks to your scorekeeper. They don't actually go off on the scorekeeper. <laughs> I don't know why there's a scorekeeper. Well, don't you think? Do you keep Thank you, stats? Fish. Um, do you keep things, yeah, like, who like, does what? Who's good at dunks? Yeah, who's, who's bad at right. dunks? I would people privately. If you could dunk a few more times this next game, because you, you almost need, did Your none. dunk stats are low. Uh, someone has favorite writers. No, we didn't. We didn't cheat, though. Favorite writers. Writer strong. Easy. <laughs> um, um, Justin. Uh, she just doesn't read any of it, but she she knows that it's good. Um, <laughs> the I mean, it's kind of I feel like kind of basic, but like mine's probably Kurt Vonnegut, which is like I've read the most That's Kurt like Vonnegut, Joe Keenan, thing. and Dave Barry. I read a lot of Dave Barry, like Bill Bryson a lot. Um, William Goldman. William Goldman is Sydney's. Uh, Not just The Princess Bride. I read <clears throat> everything. Uh, yeah, he's actually, if you've only read The Princess Bride or even haven't read that and only seen the movie, William Goldman, William Goldman's books just like so, breeze through them. They're great. I've read like mm-hmm. Marathon Man and Magic and a lot of a lot of stuff. He was always the person that I like. Bear, Mary Roach, yes. Ma- Mary Roach. Mary Roach, very, yes, Mary Roach. favorite Vonnegut book Cat's is Cat's Cradle. Mine too. 
We already was, made this. William Golan was always the person that like we're our crass. I I simultaneously thought if I could meet somebody, but also I wouldn't know what to say to somebody because I felt like he, Thanks, he was Hannah. so important to me. And um, before he passed away, Taylor actually met him. She waited on him once. That's so cool. Like served him coffee, and I was like, "What you say?" She was like, "Can I get you anything else?" <laughs> she was like, "Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make a fool of myself in front of famous people." And I'm like, "I know, but it's William Goldman. I would have, I would have made a total fool. He would have said, I, "I want coffee," and I would have said, "As you wish." <laughs> <laughs> have you, have you ever? <laughs> Did anybody ever say that? Have you ever talked to somebody who's heard of the Princess Bride before? Because I totally have. <laughs> Work out. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Um. You guys have a favorite alcoholic drink? Uh, beer. Beer. Sydney has recently delved into a little bit of whiskey and ginger ale. Ginger. I always got ginger ale on planes because it, it's good for you know making keeping the stomach settled. Mm -hmm. Um, so I always got ginger ale, but then Justin would get it with whiskey in it, and so I decided like, hey, I'll try that out. <laughs> it's good. Really keeps you calm on an airplane. Uh, my favorite is a horse's neck. That is. Uh, brandy with ginger ale and bitters is the official drink of the British Navy, replacing pink gin, which was gin and bitters, which is a heck of a cocktail. <laughs> That's intense. That's intensity in ten cities. But I like to stick with beer. Yes. Uh, can you can you show us the honey bear dance that Mary told me about? It's not a honey bear. Why do people call it the honey bear dance? I, mom started calling it that. It's because it sounds time. like it. Okay. I don't it's, think it's that. I think it's that you look like the bear, like the way you hold your hands on your stomach. You look like the the honey bear, the the the, the squeezy bottle of honey that's shaped like a bear. I think that's why. Okay. Um, Are you gonna do actually, this? No. Um, it's actually the uh, is in Cabin Boy. <laughs> Andy Richter does this thing where he's like, you know, he, I'm, not, I'm not going to stand up, but he does this thing where he's like, puts his hand. Okay. Will you just hold the camera for a second? Here. Yeah. We'll end the stream with this because it's after 10. But, um, okay. All right. I've got to make sure I got you. Yeah, click onto that okay. so I can make sure. I've so got he does this thing. He does this thing where he says, um, yeah, um, okay. No. What? Well, what? Okay, okay. perfect. Uh, what? Why are you? You can see it. <laughs> no, Why are I'm you very, struggling with this? I'm very bad at this. Okay, okay. so just freeze right there. Good. He does this thing where he says, um, he has this like, his character's very dumb. He's like this weird glassy-eyed stare. He just goes, "This is how a harem girl dances." <laughs> it's hysterical, but I do that. Uh, I used to do that uh, to when, break tension. To break a lot. tension, like if if we were arguing. I would just, I would just, thank you. Uh, J Justin. Sukiko, thank you. I, our family, that's funny. My family, um, we express ourselves emotionally very um, often. <laughs> and Maximumfun.org forward slash today, by the way, clearly, if you like that dance. And we are, we are like, we get in fights and we yell sometimes and we like, we're very, external in that way and i do not think that uh justin necessarily <laughs> as a raised baptist we bury it below food <laughs> and so uh the, a lot of the times when we especially after we first got together and when we first got married and he would spend time with my family and like things would get intense where like my mom and i are arguing or one of my sisters and i are arguing or whatever which is totally normal for us like we do that like we don't you know, we don't get in fight fight like we, but we, you know, we do yell and scream sometimes and storm Hi, Mallory. Thank and, you. And um, he would do this when things got overwhelming, as a way to cope with, <laughs> with the situation. It worked most of the time. It works. It's a good way to cut tension. Yeah. Um. Okay, so this is my last plea. If you can go to macroyshows.com, that's our website. There's no reason to go there. Go to uh, maximumfund.org <laughs> forward slash donate. I mean, you can go there. If and you if you could pledge five bucks a month, 10 bucks a month, uh, whatever you could do, we really appreciate it. It helps us pay for clothes for our kids and food and our home and everything. Um, and it really does mean a lot. Even if it's 
a lot of people said I was only able to do five dollars. Like those add up, and it really, honestly, it just means the world that you like what we do enough to support it with yeah. your hard-earned cash. Any anything you can do helps, and even if you're not in a position right now where you can uh, yeah. become a member, like talking about it, tweeting about it, telling a friend, just retweeting. You mm -hmm. know, when Max Fun talks about the drive, any of that is super helpful too. So, like, that's we we appreciate that you listen and that you enjoy it, and you know, it ends whatever. We're, we're uh, happy. March 29th is the last day of the, the of the drive. Um, if you could head over there and pledge, they've got a whole, all the gifts and stuff over there. You can see, but the main thing is just like support content that you like and content creators that you like because. It helps them make more content. Yeah, so I noticed earlier somebody had said, does it get hard to, like, does Sawbones get frustrating to do? Um, because I don't have a lot of free time. It has made it uh, a lot easier to do. Um, I've been able to cut back some on work as a result of, of the podcast and all of your all of your donations. Um, spend more time with the girls. And I've been able to spend more time that. with the girls and I can devote more time to the podcast. And so it's not a frustration. Uh, there was a while where it was hard because I want, I always, anything I'm, I'm a perfectionist, anything I do, I want to do the absolute best job I can. And it was very stressful and it has become a lot less stressful. Um, um, Cause I know, I know I have time to do it. So thank you. Thank you. You made that possible. In closing. Trans rights. Me too. Trans yeah. rights. Agreed. We're all agreed on this. We're all, we're all on the same side here. Feel very good about that. Uh, we love you. We're pro-vax. Pro-vax. Trans rights. Mm -hmm. Pro-vax. And keeping it real. I don't know if that's one. Is that one? It feels like the results on that are mixed. See um, doctor and get rid of it. See doctor and get rid of it. <laughs> okay. That's I it. quoted the jerk on the boat and nobody knew. Nobody knew what I was saying. A bunch of L7 weenies. Uh, anyway, bye, y'all. We love you. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> yes.